Namaste Yogi. Today we'll start in a comfortable seat. You can cross legged on your knees, or you could sit a different way as long as you find supportive posture. Right away, we're going to connect to this vagus nerve by finding the sitting bones and root of your tailbone connected to your mat. Feel your breath moving from the top of your head all the way down your spine to this tip of your tailbone. Breathing all the way down your vagus nerve, from your brain to your colon. As you sit here and breathe, just allow your body to relax, sink into your exhales, letting go of any tension that you discover as you scan your body from head to toe. Just start to let go of any tension throughout your jaw, your neck and shoulders, maybe even throughout your legs or your low back or your hips, just find a place where you can soften. And as you bring more awareness to your body, start to let go of any other distracting thoughts. Let's move deeper into the breath now, placing one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Let your hands be a guide for your breath. As you inhale, feel your belly hand rise, followed by your heart hand. And as you exhale, feel your belly hand fall, followed by your heart hand. Inhale, belly and heart rise. And exhale, belly and heart fall, really moving into some diaphragmatic breathing now. A great tool for turning on your vagal nerve response, for helping you to feel more relaxed. Breathe all the way into your hands and all the way back out, clearing your mind. Take maybe one more breath like this and then release your hands back down, keeping your eyes closed. Just notice any differences. Begin to notice how you feel now. Whenever you're ready, bring your hands together at your heart and blink your eyes open. Let's inhale and sweep the arms overhead. On an exhale, pull to your heart and we'll do that two more times. After your third breath, if your legs are crossed, switch the cross in your legs or maybe just take a different seat if your legs are not crossed. We'll continue to sit here and work on the neck. Inhale as you look up and exhale as you look down. We'll keep this movement, inhale looking up, exhale looking down, really stretching across the throat, stimulating that vagus nerve. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Once you feel balanced, let's look left and right. Same thing, keeping your shoulders relaxed, just stretching throughout your neck, creating more space where this vagus nerve runs through. Let's do maybe one more each way. And once you feel balanced, just lower your left ear to your left shoulder and start to roll side to side, making half circles. So rolling left ear to left shoulder, right ear to right shoulder, passing down through your chest each way. We'll take maybe one more each way to balance out.
Once you return to neutral, just sit tall and roll your shoulders back down and away, letting go of any tension in your chest or your upper back. Let's take maybe one more shoulder roll and then move into tabletop pose, hands and knees. Now really set this up with your wrists under shoulders, knees under your hips, then tuck your toes, let your belly drop, and look out for a cow pose. Continue breathing here, really point the tailbone up. And then when you're ready, start to flatten out your feet, tuck your tailbone, round, and look down for cat pose, stretching through the back of your shoulders. Now let's start to move with some breath here. You'll tuck your toes, inhale and look out for your cow, belly drops with air. And then flat feet, exhale and round for cat, belly pulls to spine. Inhale for cow looking out, exhale for cat looking down, just rotating through your tailbone, your shoulders, moving with your breath, opening up all the way through. Let's take maybe one or two more rounds. Once you finish, return to neutral. We'll move into our first child's pose, hips back towards your heels. Now you can put pressure on your forehead with your hands, or maybe you just lower all the way to the mat, but you do wanna find some pressure to your forehead. We're putting pressure right in that cranial area where the vagus nerve resides, bringing more awareness to this space. And then invite yourself to deeply relax while you're here, just letting go, lengthening through your low back, lengthening through your spine, relaxing your mind just as much as you relax your body. Let's take one more deep breath in and out. And when you're ready, press back up to your tabletop pose, hands and knees. Let's really ground here. We're going to move into some just intuitive movement. So anything that feels good while you're on hands and knees. Maybe you want to move your hips, your shoulders, your neck. But you put some pressure on your third eye while you're in that child's pose. And that activates your intuition. So just move in a way that feels good for you. Listen to your body. Give yourself what you need to relax. Take maybe one more breath to slow it down and then find center. We'll move into thread the needle. Start to reach your right arm up to an open twist. Take a deep breath. On the exhale, start to reach underneath and lower down to your shoulder, your ear, your head. Just let your whole body relax here, sinking into your shoulder blade. Relax your jaw, take a deep breath through your spine. When you're ready, begin to maybe reach a little deeper for one more breath. And then unwind and prepare to move to the other side. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale, twist it under, lower down to your shoulder and ear. Take a breath or two and then maybe reach a little deeper. Just relaxing through your jaw. Let's take another inhale on your exhale begin to unwind reset into your tabletop and move into a calf stretch begin to reach your left foot behind with toes on the ground press back through your heel just relax your head here when you're ready begin to move it to the other side Take an inhale and the exhale, return to center. Really tuck your toes, lift your hips to your first downward facing dog. And while you're here, just take any movement that you need to. Again, intuitively listening into your body, giving yourself what you need for a moment as you arrive. Keep relaxing your head, drawing your navel in, find some stillness, take an inhale. On your exhale, begin to walk your hands back towards your feet, bend your knees if you need to, and rise all the way up to standing. Let's ground with three breaths, inhaling overhead, exhaling to your heart, really feeling your feet rooting down into your mat. 
now stay rooted into your mountain pose and begin to reach your arms behind you interlace your hands and pull out or away this is your opportunity to again stretch across your chest and also throughout your lymph nodes right in the underarms take another breath here as you lengthen through your spine and then let go as you exhale now look down towards your toes take your time rolling down nice and slow we're gonna find a standing fold just for a moment it's okay if your fingers don't touch the ground just hang out wherever you are you can always straighten your legs if you need a deeper stretch let's let the head be nice and heavy and take an inhale and on your exhale slowly roll back up to standing really ground into this mountain pose with some shoulder rolls rolling back down and away again letting go of any tension across your chest let's stay grounded into the mountain pose really rooting in now so find all four corners of your feet find your legs standing strong you can close your eyes if that feels good your palms are facing forward for now and can you really find that place where your two legs connect right at the root of your tailbone right at the tip of that vagus nerve and can you feel yourself nice and grounded into your mat let's go back to that diaphragmatic breathing one hand on your belly one hand on your heart using your hands as a guide as you inhale feel your belly hand rise followed by your heart hand and as you exhale your belly hand falls followed by your heart hand keep breathing deeply all the way in and out of your body knowing that when you touch these places your hand and your belly you're also touching places where your vagus nerve resides We're bringing a lot of attention to this cranial nerve that has so much power over the way we respond to stress you can release your hands let's blink the eyes open bring your hands to the sides of your body now let's breathe into the sides of the body Breathe into your hands, breathe into your hips, really feel that expansion through the sides of your rib cage. And then bring your hands to the back side of your body and again remind yourself to breathe here. Breathe into your low back, breathe into your hands, breathe into all 360 degrees of your body. Take maybe one more breath on the exhale release. Let's find mountain pose, inhale sweeping arms overhead. Exhale, fold all the way down, find your standing fold, and this time inhale to a half lift, looking out with flat back. On the exhale, release back down and find your hands and knees pose. Let's take a stretch, taking your right foot back with toes on the ground, and then reach your left fingertips out on the ground. So reaching out from opposite ends now, breathing into all 360 degrees of your body. Feel your inhales creating more space. Let's bring it back to center, switch to the other side, opposite hand and foot, reaching out, lengthening through your spine, lengthening your whole body as you breathe deeply. One more inhale. On your exhale, return back into your tabletop pose. Now let's stay here and go all the way down to the belly. Go take your elbows wide, relax your head, bend your knees, wipe your feet side to side. This is a nice way to loosen up your low back and your sacrum, a place where we tend to hold a lot of tension. This is also a place where the vagus nerve resides, so we want to create a lot of space here. And if you'd like, even release your legs long and take a reverse Shavasana. If your head was on one side, let's go and turn to the other cheek and just take some deep exhales into the backside of your body. Let the whole backside of your body release for maybe one or two more breaths. Whenever you're ready, start to make your way back up. We're going to go all the way into a child's pose again, but this time the knees are going to get nice and wide, so about mat distance. Once you relax, just begin to sink into your low back. Now that you've loosened up those spaces, can you really breathe there? Breathe into your hips and your low back. Exhale, really soften and lengthen through your spine. We've got one or two more breaths here, letting go. Let's
Let's come back up into tabletop when you're ready and then have a seat on your knees. Now if this doesn't feel good, you can sit a different way, but if you feel good here, let's go ahead and interlace the hands and reach overhead. You're just taking another stretch through the front of your chest and those lymph nodes that reside in your underarms. If you want to take a side bend each way, feel free. That'll just enhance the stretch. Either way, just breathing into a place that's so vital to your immunity. Let's keep the hands interlaced, but take them behind your head. Press your head into your hands. Your elbows are wide. Your shoulders pull down. Deep breath through the front side of your body. Now once you feel good, go ahead and release. We're going to stay on the knees and just work on the neck a little bit more. Rotate your left ear over to left shoulder and begin to look earth to sky. So rotating your chin. If you need more, you can always reach your opposite hand away, stretching deeper throughout your neck. We're gonna do one or two more this way and then move to the other side rotating earth to sky with your chin you can always reach away from your body if you need more let's take maybe one more rotation and then return back to neutral and now you'll just sit here with your chin at your chest so continuing to sit tall relaxing throughout your lower body Chin comes to chest as you breathe down the back of your neck. Now you might need to roll your shoulders back in a way. Just remind yourself to sit in tall posture. Let's take one more breath here and return back to neutral. Make your way back again into a downward facing dog. This time just hold it, equally pressing your heels. Bend the knees if you need to. Relax your head. Feel a nice stretch throughout your spine. When you're ready, start to walk your hands back to your feet. You're actually going to stay here in a fold, so you can clasp your elbows and really hang out. It might feel good to rock side to side. Just relax your head wherever you are. Let's take maybe one more breath and then take your time rolling all the way up to standing. Once you get there, inhale overhead and exhale hands to heart. Let's do that two more times, really grounding in. Let's stay standing, go wide across your mat, turn your toes and knees out to the corners and take your time coming down into a half squat. Now bring your hands onto your thighs for some support here and if you wanna take some movement to open up your hips, go ahead. Just feel those hips opening, maybe rock your tailbone and then find center. Take another breath or two. Use the strength of your legs and twist. Drop your shoulder in and look away. Take another breath and move to the other side. Strong legs supporting you. Bring it all back to neutral. Press up through your legs. Turn your toes forward and now come into a wide standing fold. Just letting go. It's okay if your hands don't touch the ground. Wherever you're at, just hang out with a little bit more weight in your toes than your heels. Let your head go. Draw your navel in to lengthen your low back. We'll take maybe one more breath here and then take your time coming all the way back up. Now heel toe or step back into mountain pose. Let's ground into mountain pose and begin to move into a big self hug. So you're just gonna wrap your arms around each other and walk the hands as far as you can around your shoulders. And once you get there, you're going to take some freedom of movement. There's no rules here, just listen to your body. Give yourself what you need here to open up throughout your shoulder blades. Keep your jaw relaxed, keep your shoulders relaxed, and just move wherever feels good. Let's grab one more breath here, find center and then just release and shake it all out. Get ready to move to the other side. Spread your arms wide, cross your opposite arm on top, walk your hands around your shoulders, and whenever you're ready, again, just take some movement, 
whatever feels good here to create some more space throughout your shoulders and your shoulder blades maybe throughout your back and your ribs just keep your jaw relaxed as you move and breathe let's grab maybe one more breath to find center and then release your arms down by your sides. Shake it out if you need to. Bend your knees, your ankles, swing your arms out. And then when you're ready, begin to ground right back into your mountain pose. And let's go back into a squat. You might wanna go into a half squat, get a little bit more narrow and down to your elbows. If it feels good, you can go all the way to the ground, maybe lifting your heels in a toe squat. Or if it feels good to flatten your heels, go ahead. Now there's no right or wrong here. Just find a place to open your hips. You can take your hands to your heart or leave them on the ground, but really sink down into your tailbone wherever you are. Let that tailbone be heavy. This vagus nerve running from the brain down to the tip of your tailbone, really lengthening that space now. Now take your time, make sure that your toes and knees go in the same direction. Use the strength of your legs and take your time pressing all the way back up to standing. Once you arrive back into your mountain pose, turn your toes forward. We're gonna move into a tree pose. Ground into your left leg first and turn your right knee out. Now you can stay right here or maybe you stack your heel over your ankle. You can also place your foot onto your calf or you can even go above your knee, but just make sure that you don't place your foot directly on your knee. Your hands have lots of options as well. They can go wherever helps your balance. For now, you're just going to breathe. Really feel your inhales and your exhales matching one another, helping you to stay focused. Anytime we bring our awareness more inward, we are turning on that vagal nerve response. We are de-stressing. We're enhancing our immunity. Let's breathe into this for one more round and then take your time releasing, just moving to the other side. Start to turn out whenever you're ready and stack your left foot above your ankle to your calf, maybe above your knee. Maybe it just stays on the ground and remember you've got those options for your hands as well. It might be different on one side versus the other. Just breathe into your tree pose wherever you are working to match those inhales and exhales. Keep breathing, yogis. You are almost there. Grab one more inhale. On your exhale, start to release and shake it out if you need to. We're going to come to the back of the mat, take an inhale and reach up and overhead. Exhale, fold all the way down, letting go. Take an inhale to a half lift, gazing out with flat back. Exhale, walk back out to tabletop, hands and knees. Once you ground in, take an inhale for your cow pose and an exhale for your cat pose. Let's do that two more times. Inhale for cow and exhale for cat. One more inhale for cow and exhale for cat from here return to neutral spine tuck your toes lift your hips up to downward facing dog just hold your downward facing dog for a moment really relaxing your head feeling that length in your spine from your down dog you are going to set up for a squat turn your toes and knees out to the corners walk your hands back and bend your knees as you lower your hips now same as before your squat can take on many different variations do what works for your body just take time to lengthen throughout your spine and relax throughout your tailbone let's take maybe one more breath and then bring it on down to seated. You're gonna find seated with your legs out in front of you about hip distance and start by flexing and pointing your ankles, sitting tall in supportive posture. 
and begin to roll your ankles around in circles, still relaxing those shoulders over hips. And make sure that you take your circles both directions. Let's take maybe one more circle and then relax your feet. Take your hands behind with fingers towards you. Bend your knees and set your feet wider than your hips so you can wiper your knees side to side. It's releasing any tension in your hips or your low back. Take maybe one more each way, and then once you feel balanced, release and find a butterfly. Soles of the feet together, knees are wide. Now you can just sit tall here, relaxing the legs, or if it feels good, you can start to lean in. Make sure that you lean in with a flat back and relax your head whenever you are ready. Just keep breathing here. Breathe into your spine, breathe into your hips, relax your shoulders. Take maybe one more breath, and then as you release, take your legs long again. Now, just relax your feet this time. Interlace your hands and flip your palms overhead. Really root down into your sitting bones and lengthen your arms as long as you can. Really reaching those palms up. Let's grab one more breath and then take the hands behind. Press your head into your hands, your elbows wide, shoulders down, just like you did before. Let's grab maybe one more breath and again relax your arms behind, bend your knees and wiper your knees side to side. Once you feel balanced, again find your butterfly pose, take your feet a little bit farther out than normal and move into some hip circles. Inhale to circle forward, exhale to circle back and continue circling in one direction, rotating around the tip of your tailbone. Let's take maybe one more circle this way and then switch directions. Once you feel balanced, begin to take your hands behind one more time. Stay in your butterfly, really press up through your chest. Feel a nice stretch through the front of your body. Take a deep breath in on the exhale, release, and make your way all the way down to your spine. Once you arrive on your back, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze or a rock side to side. And then we're gonna move into a spinal twist. So take your knees all the way over to the right side and begin to reach your left arm away. Look away from your knee so your neck gets a twist too. Remembering this vagus nerve goes from your brain all the way down to your tailbone. So when we twist, we're really activating all the way throughout that nerve. Relax into your twist, relax into your exhales. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, start to move to the other side. Give your body time to adjust. It might feel different on this side. Just look away. Take a few more deep breaths into your twist. ready start to return to center keep your knees bent and again your feet are going to go wider than your hips on the ground so that you can wiper your knees side to side maybe one more each way and then take your feet all the way up to the sky begin to flex and point your ankles 
This really helps out your lymphatic system, boosts your immunity, helps to reset your energy. Let's start to roll the ankles around in circles. Still keeping those legs elevated for your inversion. Making sure to circle your ankles both directions. Whenever you're ready, start to bend your knees, place your hands on your knees, and roll your knees around in circles, out, away, back in again. Massaging out the base of that vagus nerve right around your sacrum and tailbone. And make sure to circle both directions. Take maybe one more circle here. Give yourself a final little squeeze and then begin to take your Shavasana, your final resting pose. Go ahead and release all the way down now. Relax, relax your arms, relax your legs. Relax and close your eyes. For now, you can just let go. Come back into some deep diaphragmatic breathing. Feel your breath moving into the front, the sides, the back of your body. Breathing into all 360 degrees. And as you exhale, just feel yourself relax and let go. Deep breaths in. And even slower, deep breaths out. Let your exhales get longer than your inhales to help you relax even more. Really begin to relax your body now. Start to relax throughout your eyes. Start to relax throughout your jaw. Start to relax the back of your head and the back of your neck. Relax the spaces behind your ears and down throughout your throat. Relax across your chest and your collarbones. Feel your whole head getting heavier. Start to relax your upper body. Soften your shoulder blades and the tops of your shoulders. Relax all the way down throughout your arms. Start to soften your wrists and your hands and your fingers. Even begin to soften in your underarms and feel your entire upper body letting go. Start to relax the sides of your body. Relax from your underarms to your outer hip spaces. Feel the muscles between your rib cages, letting go. Feel the muscles around your waist, letting go. Relax through the front of your body. Soften your abdominal muscles. Soften your belly, soften the front of your hips. Begin to relax through the back side of your body. Soften your vertebrae one at a time all the way down to your tailbone, following that path of your vagus nerve from your brain to your colon. Just letting go all the way through the back side of your body. Feel your back muscles relax. Feel your low back soften, feel your tailbone soften, feel your hips and your glutes letting go. And begin to relax your lower body. Relax all the way down throughout your legs. Begin to relax your ankles and your feet and your toes. Begin to relax your entire body. 
as your body relaxes, so does your mind. There's nowhere else to be. There's nothing else to do. There's nothing to even think about. Your only intention now is to relax. Breathe deeply. Turning on this parasympathetic response in your nervous system. Rest and digest. This is how your body stays healthy. This is how your body heals itself. Through deep states of rest and relaxation. Keep breathing now. Fully letting go. gently come back now and more aware of your body start to take some deeper breaths with eyes closed move your fingers and your toes if it feels good for your body start to reach your arms overhead stretch all the way through nice deep breaths here and then take an exhale and hug your knees into your chest give yourself a little squeeze or rock side to side and then roll over to the side of your choice Begin to press back up to seated and we're gonna meet in a comfortable seat with hands at heart and eyes closed. So coming full circle now in your practice back to where you started this supportive posture, really grounding in from your sitting bones and the root of your tailbone. Feeling your breath move from the top of your head all the way down your spine, your breath moving down that pathway of your vagus nerve. Take a few moments to scan your body for tension, letting go of any that you discover with your exhales. And also taking this time just to notice the practice that you did and notice any shifts that you made. Notice how you feel now compared to the beginning. Notice how it feels to breathe. Notice how it feels to sit here. Take a deep breath and bring your hands up towards your head, bow your head towards your heart, sealing in gratitude, showing thanks for this time to slow down and honor your nervous system with a state of relaxation. Keeping your eyes closed, inhale, sweep your arms overhead, join at the top and open mouth exhale. Let's do it again. One more cleansing breath. And the light in me honors the light in you, Yogi. Namaste.